professors and the other plan was a failure. What a bust, but I kinda hoped it would work. We've been bothering them as much as we can, but there ain't no other way. Wonder if we've been wrong after all this time. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry, think. Hey, the girl's right. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things just start falling apart and get worse and worse. You're pretty damn optimistic. Are you up to something? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All the time we've been up here looking at the planet. I've been thinking even when we're floating in the ocean. In that escape pod. I've been thinking too. About the universe. Planet. Ocean. How wide and big. No matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. I always thought this planet was so huge, but looking at it from space, I realized it's so small. But just floating in the dark kind of makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sathroth festering inside it like a sickness. That's why I say this planet's still a kid. A little kid's sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's got to protect it. You follow me? That someone is this. Sid, that's beautiful. Yo, Sid, you even got me. Do now what? Do now what? What? Okay, whatever. How? We're gonna, how are we gonna protect the planet from meteor? I'm still thinking about that. <sighs> huh? Did you... did you hear something? The planet scream. The old meteor? Is it this planet? Hey, how do we know that this is really the planet's scream? Did you forget? Bugenhagen told us. Bugenhagen. Let's go see your grandfather. To Cosimo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that will be helpful. Alrighty then, there's our next target then, Cosimo Canyon. Did Bugenhagen tell you anything? A Bugenhagen guy, he was a weird old dude. I thought he was some kind of naturalist, but he was all into them machines. Maybe it's just me, but has this ship been remodeled without me knowing it? All these switches and levers kind of get into me. The machines in Cosimo Canyon. The present presence of Dr. Gast. Props up in the planet's strange nations are surrounded by Shinra-made machines. Science and the planet lived side by side in that old man's heart. Hey, okay. This is just between you and me, but... That there Bukenhagen fellow used to be a pretty handy Shinra worker. Yep. He ain't never bought no weapons or maker though. Hurry, hurry, we must go see Grandpa. Yes, yes, let me go have a quick chit chat with you, Thinking, so I'm speaking to everybody else. And she decides to be all the way over here, which is kind of annoying. But are we there? I know it's all for good time, but I can't take much more of this. Uh, but Okay, back to Cosimo Canyon. On a pilot level 10. He's getting there, isn't he? Shall we go? Let's. To Cosimo Canyon, which is right around the corner. It's like here. Then we're 
gonna have to walk because we can't land on this ground for some reason. So I'm sure we're gonna get into some stupid fight with something that's just ready to die. Oh no, we made it. We're back. Oh, it's you. This is terrible. The colour of that unlucky star. The children are all so scared that they won't even go outside. I'd rather not see it either. Okay. Let's go speak to Bugenhagen or whatever. Assuming he's upstairs in his room. Stairs, I never remember which way it is. Is he in here? He is. Hello. Then bring thirteen with us. Ho ho ho! If you ever are in need of my wisdom, you're always welcome here. Yeah, that's why we came. What to do? Have you lost your way? When that happens, we each have to take a good look, long look at ourselves. There's always something in the deepest reaches of our hearts. Something buried, or something forgotten. Remember it. Whatever that is, it must certainly be what you are looking for. That's easy enough to say, but I can't remember a thing. Must be there. Look harder. I don't know. Cloud. I think we should have everyone here. Yellow. Pick up the fucking cloud. Fuck. Do you see it? What is it that you are searching for? Telling everybody in here. Nope, not a thing. I can't come up with a thing. Me either. I don't get any of this. I remember. I remember Eris a lot. No, not that. You haven't remembered. You haven't forgotten. That's not it. How would you say it? Eris was right. Eris was right there all along. Right by our side. She was so close, we couldn't see her. What Eris did. The words she left behind. That reminds me. I was the same. As was I. And me too. She said she was the only one who could stop Seth Roth's meteor. But Eris is gone. Is it impossible for us to carry on what Eris tried to accomplish? We ain't no ancients, if that's what you mean. What did that girl go off to that place? That's it. What's it? We don't know about it. What did Ares know? Why did she face Sethroth without running away? I see. She returned there once again, correct? Hmm. Perhaps I'll have you take me there. You're going too? What's so surprising about that? Even I want to get out from time to time and see the outside world. I wonder what did it. I haven't thought like this in ages. It must be the planet. The planet is calling you. Yeah, oh boy, the planet's calling, right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Then let's go. Oh, yeah, Bukenhagen. I have one more thing I want to ask you. We're carrying around huge material. This is pretty... Delicate stuff. And we would like to keep it in a safe place. Ho oh, oh. ho. Then we'll put it upstairs. Now shall we be on our way? I'll teach you how to work the machine. Watch carefully now. Just poke this here. Oh, 
<laughs> is this what you call huge material? This is very rare. Materia indeed. Materia this rare is certain to have a special consonance enclosed in it. Consciousness enclosed in it. So, what can we get, I wonder? Huge material. It is glowing strangely. Get closer. The huge material emitting a fairy glow. This colour is the same colour as a summoned material. Huge material. It's glowing strangely. Let's live it alone. Huge material. Just glowing strangely. Get closer. The huge material emits, emitted a cold glow. Is that a hummet? A hummet. Neo Bahamut. Material glows brightly. Received Bahamut Zero. Excellent. The best of the Bahamuts. Let's leave it alone. Let's look at the other ones. Eupateria, it's glowing strangely. Get closer. The Eupateria emitting a quiet glow. The colour is the same colour as command material. The Eupateria is glowing strangely. Get closer. The Eupateria is emitting a gentle glow. This colour is the same colour as magic material. And that's it. Let's get out of here. We got what we came for. Ho ho ho. Good. Now let's leave. Do you remember how to use the machine down below? If you ever want to see material, come here anytime. I think we got it. So we got the final Bahamut to summon material. Obviously the most damaging one. Hmm, <laughs> Smells like machinery. I love this smell. Of course, I also love the smell of nature too. Hmm. Is the deck up there? Then I'll be on the deck, just passing the time. You can feel the workings of the planet and the smell of the wind. I also feel like the, the greatness of man's wisdom and the knowledge and the smell of machinery. Well, bye for now. Okay, bye. So we've got... We have a new Bahamut, so let's get that equipped and show it off. So we should probably switch party members, maybe. I feel like we've had these guys for a while now. I kind of need to go back to rockets and now the rockets will fired, I think. And go get Sid's last weapon. Let's talk to this guy. I wonder where you're taking me. To uh, an old people's home. To have you, uh, you know, settle in there and leave it all alone, the weird old fool. You okay there, Yuffie? Uh, uh, uh. You know, I was thinking. <laughs> Why does material always have something to do with battle or magic? I bet the ancients must have always been fighting. Must have been uh, terrible. Hey guys. I went and told Eris's mom about her death. Yes, Mrs. Olmera was crying herself silly. So was little Marlene. Yeah, surprising that. City of the Ancients. The Ancients after a long time. That is probably what others will come to call us. Hmm. <laughs> it's only a matter of time for us. Harris used to pat me on the nose sometimes. I used to hate being treated like a child like that. But I also liked the attention. I wanted to apologize to her for what I did when we first met. Harris. Wanted to give her a ride in the high wind. Medaris, she's dead. Guess she turned into spiritual energy and returned to the planet, huh? But even if she did, there's no way we'll meet her again. I wonder what Eris felt when she was on that altar. I'm sure she wanted to give her life for the planet. Really? I wonder. I don't think that's it at all. I think she didn't think she would die at all, but that she planned on coming back all along. 
She always used to talk about the next time. She talked about the future more than any of us. Another part of level 11. Okay then, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's while we're here, visit Rocket Town again, question mark. I don't know if it's now or on disc three we have to come back. But since we're here, we as well have a look. I'm pretty sure it's after the rocket launch. Question mark. Hey, you're all still here, that's impressive, considering a rocket launched like a few hundred meters away from me. My, my precious rocket, it's gone. <laughs> I know, no matter how much I look, the rocket's still gone. But I just can't stop it. Just call it an old man's folly, if you will. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's kind of a hobby. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. Received Venus Gospel. I wish you'd take care of it and use it. We will, because I believe that is Vincent's final weapon. Or ultimate weapon. It is. I'm not sure if this has a special mechanic of some sort. I'll have to look into that. But obviously nothing's going to get leveled up in wise in there, so we're going to have to organise our inventory. We're probably going to swap party members for the next section. Because I think we've had these guys for a while and we kind of needed them for this section. So it makes sense to probably switch them out now. So I'll probably do that now before we head to... Well, I'm assuming we're going back to the temple or the lost city or wherever Eris is. Uh, last scene. Forgotten capital, I think it's called. But let's sort our party, so let me fix that right now. Okay, so I'm back in Cosmo Canyon, as you can probably tell by the music, because there's something I want to do here, and that is buy some HP pluses. I may have noted these when we first came to Cosmo Canyon, that they would be very useful, because they will increase our max health. But they're kind of expensive on the old 8,000. So we didn't really have the money back then, but now we have some materia to sell, and we're going to get rich. So, master materia. It's going to look how much money that sells for at the top. And we've got four of those to sell. Goodbye. 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 Money! Alright, let's buy a shitload of these. Just spam this button a little bit until I'm happy. That should, that should about do it, I think. Didn't even dent us. So with these equipped, we may have to switch accessories just to be able to equip these. Uh, hold on. on. We should be able to get Cloud to some nice health. Now obviously these can level up, and I assume it will give him more HP more they're leveled. But let's give him. Let's fill this bomb row with HP pluses. So we're at like 7,000 top health there. And as they level up, they'll have more and more. So that's a nice little boost. And it doesn't really take anything away, so we might as well just equip it to everybody that's got slots free. Let's increase that health. Especially the guys that are building magic, because it drains you. Let's, let's switch that as well. Get more health. These won't get leveled up, but more health. So we're looking a bit better on health. Cloud is on like 7,000 now. We could give him more and get him up to like... Oh, we've got an Ashen Empty slot there. Why is that not further than anything? Boop. There we go, a bit more. So Cloud is literally rocking... Counter-attack, long range, double cut, enemy skill. And a shitload of HP pluses. Excellent. Get out of here. There's a few more things we can probably go buy with our well earned cash. We could probably do those now and get it out of the way before we head on. So let's get back to the high wind. Okay, so we're back at the Chocobo farm from way back when. So we're gonna go see if we can buy these stables. Not sure who we buy it from, if we can buy it yet, because we'll need this for Chocobo breeding. Welcome! 
Uh, I don't know if it is you. Maybe we need to go speak to your father. In the actual house. Because we need to like, buy these stables. Buy you. I got something good to tell you. The white chocobo likes it when you scratch behind its ears. So I guess this is a hint for the little white chocobo we saw back in Medeal. If you scratch some place that it doesn't like, it'll get mad, so be careful. Yeah, thanks for that. Okay, yeah, you're just telling me the same thing, so this was a waste of time. Let's go speak to your father. We're gonna buy your stables off you. I'm hoping. Just to get it done and out of the way. Hey! Oh, what's that? What has that world come to? Stars falling and everything. With things the way they are now. How about raising a chocobo? Nope, I'm not trying to persuade you for money. That's just... It's just because the state of things in the world. Thought that would be a good and healthy thing for you to raise some chocobos. Hmm, you just happen to be in luck. It just so happens that we aren't taking care of any chocobos for anyone else, so... I could take care of six chocobos right now. For 10,000 gil per chocobo. How about it? Take care of my chocobos, tell me something else. How do you raise them? Take care of my chocobos. To raise a chocobo, you'll need a chocobo stable. And they rent for a 10,000 gil. Currently, I can rent out up to six chocobo stables. If you want to rent a chocobo stable, you'll keep up to four of your chocobos you catch in, in the fence area outside. At a later date, you can select the chocobo that you could you would like to put into your chocobo stable. Chocobo stables cost, yes, you keep saying how much it costs. Just fucking give them. Thank you. Our gunsong take care of the chocobos. See in the choco stable at the far right of the farm. Please tell him what you want. I want to buy them all. Uh, so I just keep saying this then. Yes. So let's buy all the ones we can. So we can do chocobo breeding much later on. So I don't think we'll be able to afford this. Well, maybe just with the money we had, but. I can't think of how much we had before we actually sold that material. Thank you. Take my money. I don't know how many we've got now. Assuming he'll stop once we've got the max. Yes, you don't need to tell me. I know where he is, you've said. We don't have enough room. To rent out more than six here. Okay, thanks. So that's that sorted. Oh look, I didn't, didn't have money at all. So, that's one big spend done. Well, maybe two if you can count all those HP pluses. To the next! Welcome to Gold Saucer! Are you together? A single pass is 3,000 gil. Or you can purchase a lifetime pass for 30,000 gil. We'll take it. The lifetime pass. Thank you very much. If you have a gold ticket, you can come and go freely into the park, as long as you don't lose it. Heard gold source of them? Yes, we know. Thank you. GGP, yes, we know. Yes, yes, thank you. Please enjoy yourself. Right, that's that sorted then. So that's both things sorted for Chocobo breeding. So we'll need to come to Gold Saucer to do it, to level up the Chocobos. That will help with breeding. So that's by these two things done. Now there is one other big spend I can think of. It's completely pointless, but we could go do it anyway, since we're not exactly struggling for money. Ever again. Hey, I want to buy your house. Praise the Lord, it's a miracle. Who even thinks someone with real money could ever come here? Probably shouldn't even ask, but are you really gonna buy it? That's a lot of money! Sure! For Vanilla Cloud! Vanilla? Villa Cloud. It's a terrible name. Hmm. Goodbye! Goodbye, fluffy bed! Yay, we have our own villa. Which I guess is great. Does nothing, really. Is this idiot still down here? Does he come with it? You a slave now. Oh, yeah, you're still here. Snore, snore. Wait! Jeez, my lower back's killing me. It's your posture, man. Hey, yes, sir. How do you do? I'm the manager. Nice to meet you. Well, if you're part of me, I'll be leaving. Good night. Okay. 
Well, there we go. We burn a little bit of the money that we own, sort of. This is my villa. Rest up in your new villa with pleasure. Ah, the small things in life. Anyway, back to saving the world, I guess.